At the age of 28, the young Marie met and married a French scientist named Pierre Curie. Together in their laboratory in Paris, they shared in the research that isolated two radioactive elements, radium and polonium. Their efforts brought them a joint Nobel Prize in 1903. After the tragic death of her husband, three years later, Madame Curie carried on the work alone and was awarded the Nobel Prize for an unprecedented second time in 1911 for her work in refining the radium metal itself. In 1921, she made the first of several trips to America. President Warren Harding served as the official spokesman of the women of America in presenting the discoverer of radium with a medal and a gift of one gram of the precious stuff valued at over $50,000. Madame Curie graciously accepted America's grateful donation that would allow her to continue her research. Greatest headlines of the century. Dateline, Washington, D.C. Again in 1929, she returned on board ship with her two grown daughters for a second donation. By now, advancing old age, beginning to take its toll of the woman whose brilliant mind had isolated element 88. President Herbert Hoover proudly made the presentation of an additional gram of radium to its discoverer. Madame Curie's life work could continue with one more gram of the life-saving metal. The great woman scientist was to die in Savoy, France on July 4, 1934. But Madame Curie's contribution to humanity would keep her name and memory alive in the annals of mankind forever.